I want to address timing for studying on the SAT, ACT as well. I'm Mark Greenstein of Ivy Bound. I've coached indirectly nearly 10,000 students and directly a couple hundred more. From my experience, I am fervent about summer being all things, all other things equal, the best time for study. But that's summer before junior year. Summer before senior year might be good but it gives you only that one summer and a couple months into the fall to post a great score. You really don't have any backup when you wanna be applying as a senior for early decision. Even regular decision, you still don't have a deep set of de test dates. So for juniors, if you can squeeze out a little bit of time each week during the school year, it is almost certainly the best move. You then have summer as a backup if you need it, but if you trounce the test in the spring, you're done. You don't need to use summer for SAT or ACT prep. For those who say, well, I am busy this junior year. How busy? Look, we know junior year is a tough year for almost all students, and the spring tends to get even tougher because of proms and sports banquets, drive red for a lot of kids. But if just 30 minutes a day can be squeezed away from internet chats, from frivolous stuff, and instead productively honed into the single most important course of the year, probably the most important course of your life, literally of your life, I have another video about that, then this is the time to do it. 30 minutes a day, or just take it on the weekends. We typically do hour and a half sessions for online tutoring. That could be on a Friday and a Sunday. Boom, Friday and Sunday, it stays away from doing your schoolwork that can be fervently done. It stays away from almost every extracurricular activity unless you have a varsity sport that meets on both Saturdays and Sundays, and you've got to prep on Fridays. So it's very doable. Take it seriously, and then you won't have to do summer study. You, we hope, will trounce the ACT or trounce the SAT during the school year. Look, students who have what I call the 70-hour work week, that's school for seven hours a day, extra currics for three hours a day, homework for four hours a day. Okay, that's big, but it still leaves 98 hours in a week. Finding three to five hours in a week shouldn't be that hard, especially if you have a child who is ambitious, wants to get to a top 20 university, or you, the parent, want to get a big scholarship, saving you $100,000 or more over four years. Well, make the priority this, that this is my honors class for the semester. It's not even the whole year. We ask for kids for three, four, five months at most. You could call it maybe not an honors class, but your part-time job. There's your Fridays and Sundays, okay? Spend it instead of at the retail store, instead of cutting lawns, spend it at home, studying with a good tutor, practice testing on your own, and being ready to trounce the test a few months later.